I got an electric car, but it's not a Tesla, or a Nissan Leaf, or a BMW i3, or anything else you've probably heard of. It's one of these, and it's from 1980. This is the commuter car, made in the 1980s by commuter vehicles. It's basically a highway-capable golf cart with explosives in the front and back bumpers. And of course, it's electric. Sound like a good idea? Consumer Reports didn't think so either. They rated it not acceptable in 1980. That can't be true, however. It has all the features of a modern electric car, such as the Tesla Model 3. Like the Model 3, it has ill-fitting body panels, a minimalistic interior, and a mostly glass roof. Unlike the Model 3, it has several distinct advantages. Teslas rely too heavily on electricity, so the commuter car has manually operated features. Windows? Manual. Doors and locks? Manual. Steering? Manual. Moonroof? Manual. Brakes? Manual. Windshield washer? Manual. If you don't like an ever-present screen looming in your view, check out all these old-fashioned dashboard instruments. A forward and reverse switch, a minimalistic range indicator, a multifunction turn signal stock, and an analog speedometer. Speaking of the speedometer, it only goes to 50 miles an hour. That way, you don't have to worry about speeding tickets. The power behind this little sports car is a giant DC motor, producing a whopping 8 horsepower. The motor is controlled by a relatively modern, unsolid state 3 speed controller. The commuter car even integrates safety features such as corrugated impact absorbers, a fuse, and impact resistant ABS plastic body panels. To charge the car, you simply plug it into any household power outlet using an extension cord. No special panel for a fast charger, no supercharging hassle, just plug and go. How far does it go on a charge? Right now, it doesn't. I had two options when I bought it, buy the batteries for extra or buy it without the batteries. I didn't buy the batteries. It still needs batteries, but the original kind is nothing exciting. So I'm building it lithium ion batteries using the same kind of cells that Tesla uses in the Model S. Since I'm a poor college kid, I'm not using new cells. My barn now houses three barrels of hazardous waste, which I'm sorting through for good cells. I've built about five testing packs so far, which aren't good enough to move the car, but I've ordered a spot welder, which should make building packs much easier. So far, this is a really exciting project, and I'm learning a lot about battery technology. But it's far from finished. Once I've finished building it batteries, I plan to give it a slightly more modern speed controller, and from there, who knows? Maybe I'll give it autopilot. <laughs>